the Newcastle fans, you, what do you sort of recall on your first walking up that tunnel, St James's Park, all the people there? I think the game we, we one nil. Uh, Queens Park Rangers, went, yeah. yeah. I can remember it vividly. You know, it was just whatever you thought it was going to be. People kept saying, "You're not going to believe what it's like tomorrow." And I'm thinking, mm. you know, I've played at Liverpool. I've played in the European Cup final in Rome. I've played at Wembley. I've played in the Maracana. Mm. I've played in, in Hamburg, which is a great stadium and, and even better now. Never, never knew anything like it. The noise, and mm. still don't. I still say to anybody, I go to Norway and, and Malaysia doing TV programmes, and people say to me, I'm going to England, what ground should I go to? I said, go to St James's Park. If you've only got one ground to go to, go to St James's Park. I don't think even anywhere else in England now, with all these fantastic stadiums that they've created, and they are wonderful, I don't think anywhere gets near. I, well, I know it doesn't. I don't think it's the wrong word. I know it doesn't get near. Um, and it's something to do with where it is in the city. You know, like other cities have the cathedral sticking yeah. out, don't they? That is the cathedral. It's, you can see it from everywhere. Air everywhere. You, when you come past in. the Angel of North, it's there. It's there yeah. And people, people who don't know think, what the hell's that? You know, but people who do know mm. say, that's the cathedral, really. Yeah, you know, you that can, is the, yeah, the, the is, religion here. It, it, it is, and it's, it's something that, you know, me, I feel passionate talking about it. And mm. the, the, the people just... It spoils people's Saturday nights if Newcastle don't do well, and I think yeah. that it, they're, 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 they're just so passionate about that club. We ran it on the on the grounds when I was managing. That what what do these people want? Mm. And of course, having played there for two years, I knew exactly what they wanted. Mm. When I was playing there, we couldn't give them that. Mm. You know, we weren't good enough. We weren't. We didn't have the money to spend. We didn't have the players within our you know squad at that time to do it. But it was very obvious what they wanted, and it's quite a simple thing, really. They work hard all week, they want to go and have a, a couple of browns, males, mm. they want to go to the match and they want to see a team in black and white give everything they've got to win a football match and entertain them. Mm. And you can lose 3-2 in a really good game there, they will not walk out and boo you off, mm. they will not walk out, they will go to the pub and say, wow, I'm glad I went today, I really enjoyed it. That's why they're very special, you know, it's not, winning's yes, yeah, great, and of course they want to win something. But it's more than that, isn't it? You know that. It's, it's more than that. And all we did with my team, I kept saying, right, we, we, how can we better it so that these people get better? It's a bit like putting a cast on, I suppose, at a theatre. Mm. It almost got like that, you know, when David Ginola came in. And when we got David Batty, who was a very, very good player, Rob Lee, we sneaked him in a little bit and robbed him away from Middlesbrough. And then we started to say, right, we, we've come a long way. Mm but we mustn't stop here, you know? And, and that's where the halls in particular were, were very supportive, you know, in that we, we, once we got so far, they didn't say, right, let's consolidate. let's consolidate, you've got to get a few out. Where do you want to go now? See, the Geordies don't care where they're from. Where they're from yeah. As long as those players put that, put shirt, that shirt on, on yeah. and give it their all, they will come every week and support them till the day they die.